Hello everybody, Katu here, and uh, in the second vlog I wanted to talk about this drum in here, the goblet drums. These are the family actually of many different types of drums. Uh, the one that I own here is called Darbuka. And there are also dumbbacks. Uh, and the dumbback you may know from the video of Cat Vibe, which we started from. Uh, so these are uh, among one of the oldest drums, again, just like with the frame drums, but uh, there are foundings of goblet drums as early as uh, 1100 BCE. Uh, they come from Middle East and Egypt in Mesopotamia. Uh, and this is where it gets interesting because uh, there are there are different variations, regional variations uh, among uh, along the Middle East and North Africa with different names. This is also why we get two of them nowadays in commercial use. The Darbuka, which I have here, and the Dombek, which you have seen. Uh, both of them are made out of uh, aluminium today mostly. Uh, however, I also saw, uh, saw the uh, copper ones, but they are very rare. Um, but uh, they are mostly used interchangeably. You may find uh, Darbuka player uh, or Dombek player uh, playing both styles because there are slight differences depending on from which style the player actually comes from. Um, there's the Turkish style, um, mostly associated with Darbuka, which I have here, uh, and the Dombek style, um, which is more associated, sorry, Egyptian style, uh, which is more associated with the Dombek. And the Dombeks have typically rounded edges, in the construction wise, um, whereas, as you can see, the Darbuka is way more sharp in here. Um, but uh, this allows for the more clear slap along the edge, you know, with the uh, with the fingers. So in general, there are three types of sounds on the goblet drum. There is the dom here in the middle. Uh, there is the tuck or tech, uh, which is played with uh, your dominant hand uh, along the edge. And I can still do it properly uh, because with the in here I'm playing uh, this in the in the Egyptian style uh, because that's just how I learned to play the, to uh, to play the drums, this drum, uh, and you shall play it here with uh, those two fingers, uh, the ring finger and the little finger. But as you may see in my videos, I usually just strike it like this because that's just more comfortable for me. The sound difference isn't that much, at least to my ears. Mm, so from the tuck or tech, there is also the ka, which is uh, played with the other hand. Uh, in this uh, Egyptian style of playing, usually played in here with middle and ring finger bent. But how about the position? Because this is where you can see the difference in the most clear way visible. Uh, the one that, I, like I said, the one that I use is the Egyptian style. So I actually probably should have the dumbbell instead of darbuka. But like I said, those drums sound so similar, they are basically used interchangeably. Mm, and you can compare the sound of my drum to the sound of Mr. Bill uh, from the beginning. It is very similar, uh, similar construction, similar uh, alloy material, so they are used interchangeably. You can see Darbuka players using both styles and Dombek players using both styles. But okay, so uh, with, the in, with the Egyptian style, which is probably the most distinct uh, for the goblet drum, by the way, at least from what I've seen. So you have to sit fairly low. I'm here still a bit too high, but this is just as low as my drum throne allows. Uh, you should have um, a bit less than 90 degree angle here between your torso and your thigh in order for when you place a drum, uh, it should stay by itself and not roll off to the knee. But as you can see, because it is heavier on this side, it will fall off in this direction. So you close it with your other leg and here you have now a secure drum hold. Now you place your non-dominant hand uh, here on the top of the drum with your fingers uh, on the on the edge like so. Uh, you know the, the, the first joint of the fingers on the edge so you can bend them in here and play like that. Also, I like to rest my elbow here on the back, but um, from what I've seen, some players do it, some players don't. I do it, do as you please. And here you play with your right hand 
on the uh, slider to the side like this. And the, this is like I said, this is the Egyptian style. The Turkish style, so the one I actually should be playing with this one, uh, you just hold it like this between your legs, like you've seen Mr. Bill does. Uh, this is how I'm going to reference him. I have no idea how to pronounce the last name, sorry. Um, and here you basically play it like a djembe, you know. But when you use the Egyptian style, uh, you play it more like this. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm way more comfortable doing the rolls in this style. And um, this is also regarding the construction, you know, the Egyptian style has this rolled edges, which apparently makes the rolls easier. I'm not sure personally, because I haven't really played the Dombek, and I just never had it. I never had played Dombek, so I don't have a comparison. With here, well, it does get a bit painful if you struck too hard or if you slightly miss, because you basically hit with uh, your joint bones. Uh, but I get used to it, you know, that's when you play it many, many times, you just, just roll with it. Uh, but okay, uh, also one thing about the construction of goblet drums, which I quite like, um, is that the design itself is, well, pretty interesting. I mean, you have here the the regular drum, you know, um, but here when when you strike it with, when you strike the bass, you know, here you have this tube which really enhances the bass, uh, the bass tones, you know, bass, the sound that works less, uh, a bit like a bass, bass reflex. And um, really like it's so simple, yet at the same time it really works wonders. And this is also why you have this uh, this very distinct sound. You know, you, you hear the goblet drum and you instantly know that it is it. That 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 that's it. English language is hard. Um, okay, so uh, I guess that's that's it for the goblet drums. Uh, not much more to say about that uh, about them. Uh, so, like I said, the Middle Eastern and uh, Egyptian origin. Again, one of the oldest drums, metal alloy, and those two different ways of playing that are basically interchangeable. So, yeah, thank you for turning in to this vlog. Uh, by the way, sorry that I didn't talk much about the mm, construction differences, but I'm not really that much into technical stuff, at least in the, uh, in in this field. Um, and I mean, the I think the video of Mr. Bill is so viral that everyone now knows how this drum, how his drum looks like. You can see how my drum looks like, and this is basically uh, what we have. What what we have, you know, this, those two variations are the ones that are that are most widely used today commercially, even though. Uh, you know, with the actual tribes of uh, that d that invented the drums, there are many different variations. Um, but those two are most widely used uh, and commercially available. So I think there's just no point in rambling further about the cosmetic differences between all the different um, different different regional variations. Um, I mean, maybe I should, but um, this uh, they are they are just not not that common, you know, and um, probably you just play them anyways, just, you know, either with this or uh, or the Turkish technique. Uh, so anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, this was, the vlog was supposed to be the every other week, but I think now it's becoming more of a monthly thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, we will, we will see about that how how it will turn out if it will if uh, it will remain a monthly thing or it will actually be every other week. Mm, but I guess you prefer to watch me play rather than talk, so maybe we will keep this once a month. 
Anyway, thank you all for watching. Check out my other videos and see you soon. Bye.